hard to take, wasn't it? Ah, very, very much so. Really disappointed, but it's just overshadowed by the pride I have for the football club and, and for what how we've how we've gone about it. We were outstanding tonight. We were a better team. Should have won. Had better chances. More corners. More. Just couldn't find the opening, you know. And then it's heartbreaking because we can clear the ball. We don't give a foul away, and then they score with probably the way that they, they know best in set play. So credit to them and congratulations to them. But so proud of our team tonight. But just should have won the game. First half, absolutely dominated, didn't you? Just couldn't get that in that in ball in the net. Ah, we was. I thought we were outstanding. Thought we were excellent. You know, I really did. Tactically, we were superb. We aggressive. We pressed. You know, people say that you know they're the best tactical side in the league. They're not. You know, we go after everyone. It's quite easy to sit in and be pragmatic. We don't. We go after everyone. We really, really do. And I, I, how we went about our work today, I'm so proud of our group. It's a magnificent group, and we'll be better for this. Much better for this. Cornick's chance in the first half was probably the best one, but there were many of them. Ah, oh, we'd load. I mean, that's point blank. We should. We should score. But look. Just, just every, everything about it. We had so many, so many opportunities, so many things. Last, you know, we were the better, we were just better side. We've come here and, and been better, you know. And, and I knew it. And I knew that if we didn't lose the home game, then they would have to come out and try and do something that they're not very good at. And I, I believed we'd win here. I really did. Providing we didn't have to chase a lead, um, I believed we'd win here. And that's that's the thing. People said that they were excellent. That they had a bit of play, but we had better chances in the first game. Should have won the game. First game should have had a penalty. And you know, I had so many things. But look, I'm, let's not worry too much about that. We've been excellent and we'll learn from this and we'll come back stronger, I promise you that. Sick enough with eight minutes to go, isn't it? That's football sometimes. And you just sense it when you give the foul away and stuff. Because we can clear it, we can do it, but we don't. We dilly-dally and then we give a foul away. And then Sober Thomas has wonderful, wonderful quality. I mean, look, if Mr. Dick takes their plays out of it, they, they're not where they are, but it's part and parcel of the game and they're very good at it and great delivery. I don't even know who scored, so... <laughs> Uh, and things, but look, very disappointing. But hey, it's one of those things. But at the end, you wanted to celebrate with the supporters, but it's unfortunate that they then have to go and go the Luton fans, which is harsh. It's a bit strange, really. I just wanted to thank our fans, really, because they were magnificent all night. But just fans wanted, to, to, they, instead of celebrating something, they'd rather. I just don't understand it. And some of the things I saw, some of the women and children and what they were doing, I'm, I'm glad my wife never acts like that, or my children never act like that, because I'd be, I'd be very embarrassed. And I think the football club should be embarrassed by that. But it's probably just individuals, nothing to do with the way the football clubs run. But you know, it's sad. But anyway, look, congratulations to them. They'll celebrate in any way they want, and I said it's all about us. It's been a wonderful season, though, hasn't it? I mean, it's just been incredible. Ah, oh, it's been superb. We, I'm so proud of them, and how we've gone about our work, and how we've gone about everything. Because I think we've been, at, you know, really, really, uh, just the way we've gone about everything. And we'll be, as I said, we'll be better from this. We come back, we learn, and uh, and we go again. You get some more players in over the summer. You'll be stronger and fresher. Absolutely, and look, we get eight players back. Yeah. You know, we get eight athletes back, people back. Elijah comes back, Fred comes back, Pelly comes back, Luke Berry comes back, Gabe Osho comes back. It's a, it's a significant injury, you know, in, in, injury crisis we've had, and it, it's been a lot of big players. Andrew Muske is injured again tonight, you know, so it's. It, it's really cost us, but we'll be better for this. Mm. And about who came on, it looked like he was trotting yeah. notes. Yeah. It was never, never, you know, you, you got couldn't sprint, but you just think, well, just in case we just have one corner, one thing, you put it on, and we'd only use it. But if, if I'm honest, I didn't really have anyone else to put on anyway. Put on the bench, you might as well put him on the bench, you know. So, um, uh, it, look, it's disappointing tonight. I'm gutted, it's tough, but so proud of the club, so proud of the team, so proud of every member of staff, how we've done, because we've really pushed boundaries this year. And as I said, we have to now strive to be better next year. And the players know that choked? Uh, it's just like it's like a cemetery in Morgan. I don't need to, to to use that lightly in terms of that. It's just very, you know, very somber in there, and you can understand that with the way the group are. But look, I'm so proud, and let's let's focus on the positives because we'll have enough of the negatives running through our veins tonight. But it's been a wonderful season, and suddenly now we, you know, we wanted to consolidate, establish as a, as a championship side, and then challenge. And we've challenged. We bang on track. So now we have to use that and, and try and get promoted next year.